Well, Professor Cheryl, what we would like to do today is explore some of the ideas that we may want to talk about in the air. Are you comfortable in here? Would you like anything before we get started? I could have some coffee brought in. No, thank you. I'm quite comfortable. Fine. The rumors have been going around ever since the discovery of the recombinant DNA process in 1973 that you've been foremost in the gene race by hooking together all kinds of genetic materials and cloning like crazy. Is there any truth to those rumors? Western genetics is certainly not behind the exploring the latest technology, if that's what you mean. One report says that you've experimented with crossing an eagle with a turtle on the theory that you could speed one up or slow the other down. Is that a fact? Hardly. I don't know where you nice people get such stories. Wes, we are not interested in speeding up turtles. Are you interested in cloning subhumans for medical or scientific experimentation? There are some instances where such creatures were proved to benefit to mankind but we have no such experiments in progress. Your company has a wide range of investments from mining interests to space colonization. You have experiments going on that have benefit to the company in those areas, don't you? Take a look at this film, Professor Sheriff. Would you deny that this is a picture of you at a major stockholders convention? And what you are doing there is presenting a plan for genetically engineering humans who have the capacity for withstanding the thin, cold atmosphere of Mars, a planet in which your company has heavy investments. I certainly do not deny that. We are very proud to our, of our contributions to space exploration. That is indeed my picture. The, con the potential for putting clones in space is very great. Explain that. As you've already noted, we could create genetic types to live in different climates. We might even set up tiny clones to the interest of space, <laughs> that is, space on a spacecraft. I could hardly see tiny clones with high-capacity brains. This country would be so proud to be part of such an effort. We've also contributed the possibilities of sending up embryos to far distant planets. Lots of problems there, but it might be workable. That part is not my job, though. What about the mines, Professor Cheryl? I mean, it's getting harder and harder to get humans down there. Are you working on some kind of project to produce subhumans for the mines? Noah, you media people get way too carried away. Well, are you? I'll have to plead the Fifth Amendment on that one. Professor, are you? The Fifth Amendment, Noah. The Fifth Amendment. Professor, are you opening up to the possibility of a subhuman labor work to work on those mines? That's the way it is, isn't it? 